Hi everybody, async Drupal is back again. Today's topic is how to migrate content from some old Drupal versions like 6 or 7 to Drupal 8. We will divide this topic into several videos. In this video we will find out what modules do we need, how to make it really easy. Uh, we have already locally installed and prepared site on Drupal 7 and on Drupal 8. And we will gradually migrate content from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8. Um, we have found on the internet nice article where there is a basic step-by-step -step instructions for such migration. And some steps will be stolen from this page. So let's start. As we have already installed Drupal 7 and 8, we have to download and install such modules as Migrate Upgrade, Migrate Tools and Migrate Plus on Drupal 8 site. So we go to console, uh, we go to root of Drupal 8 site and install these modules through Midrash, enable migrate upgrade first, mm -hmm. uh, migrate tools and migrate plus and press enter. Okay. Uh, seems like all is fine. We have them installed before, so it's faster for us. And then we need to return to our article and add some configurations into our settings PHP file. We need to add connection to database to Drupal 7 site from which we want content to be migrated. So key of database connection should be upgrade. Uh, we copy. Open our Drupal 8 settings PHP. Um, paste and set your own connection. In our case it's uh, Drupal 7 log, username in our case root and password also root uh -huh. and host MySQL. Uh, ah, and we have already set our folder for config staging. Now we need to generate all config files for migration to our active configurations to Drupal 8. Of course we won't use them all, but couple them. Okay, so copy this command and paste in our console and press enter. Mm -hmm. Good. Seems like all is generated. So now we need to export all configurations that was generated to some temporary folder from which we can use migration configuration files uh, one by one to have a clear picture how does it work. So let's copy this command and paste to console. Okay. And let's change folder's name to tmp in Drupal root and enter. Great, all config files are exported to TMP folder. Let's open this directory. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, in this directory we have absolutely all configurations for our Drupal 8 site. Uh, but what is currently interesting for us is all configurations beginning with Migrate Plus. Okay, uh, like we mentioned before, we have a lot of config files for migration because they are also generate for migrate structure of site. Like we can migrate user roles, user fields, node fields, um, view modes and lots of other stuff. So it means that you can even migrate full structure of previous versions of Drupal. Um, but now we want only to migrate users from old version of Drupal, so we start from small part. In this case we need to copy such files as upgrade Drupal 7 user and migration group file for migrate Drupal 7. Um, we'll talk about each of these uh, files later in this video. So let's copy these files mm -hmm. and paste to staging config folder. Yeah. Uh, now let's import staging configurations to active with command uh, drush config import staging. Staging, yeah, and enter. 
Okay. Uh, you see the Drupal shows me lots of migrate config files will be deleted. In our case, it's correct because we now only need to copy before. So press yes. Success. Now let's open our file from migration group migrate Drupal 7. Um, this file has some settings that are using migrations from settings group. For example, we have name of key of database connection, which will be used for our migrations. Um, so we need to add new database connection to our settings PHP file with this key. So just copy, paste, and um, change key and save. Cool. Now let's open migration file for user migration. Um, mm -hmm. In this file we have settings. Um, which properties should be migrated to which property, field to which field, uh, dependencies of this migration. Um, we will talk about it more precisely in the next videos. Uh, now we need to delete required migrations because user roles already exist in Drupal 8 in our case. Okay, so deleting and save file. As we have changed configurations, we have to run config import again. So let's go to console and run drush config import staging. Enter, okay, yes, um, good. Um, so let's check what is current migration in our system. We can check this with command drush migrate stages short ms and enter. We see that we have only one migration in our system and this is migration for our users. So we have data about migrations like name, status, total, how many is already migrated and how many is still waiting. As you can see right now, we have only one user in Drupal 7 and this user is not migrated. So we go to Drupal 7 admin interface and create one new user. Okay, name, mail, password, again, and create. Okay, good. New user is added. Now we have two users, admin and user we have created just now. We go to Drupal 8 and check how many users do we have there. Uh-huh, only one user, admin. Okay, so now let's go to console and run migration for users. We will run this with command drush migrate import. Let's show the MI. And name of user migration. Okay, enter. Good, it is written that two users were created. Let's go to our Drupal 8. Okay, you see that our new user was created as admin already existed on Drupal 8. It was just updated. Cool. Um, also, if we need to rerun migrations because some users were changed in Drupal 7, we need to run command drush migration import with flag, uh, flag update. Like this and enter. And um, in status, we see that two users were updated. Okay, great. I guess it's all for our first video. And in the next video, we will try to migrate nodes with additional fields. And we will try to change config uh, YAML file for node migration. Bye-bye.